Tracy Beckerman is a busy mom. Ah, it's a spider. Can you take a break from that? Between her two kids. So then I have another closet down here. Her three pets. I have all my bags over here. And her writing career. She has little time to organize her closets. I've no, I just have no idea what's in here. I just keep buying more stuff and putting it in here. Tracy is like millions of Americans who have plenty of clothes but feel like they have nothing to wear. I basically end up wearing the same thing over and over again. It's like, okay, I remember I have this one jacket that I really like and these pants that I know fit really well and this other shirt, and I just kind of keep recycling like the same six or seven outfits, which is ridiculous. Stylist Melanie Charlton Fasatelli says she has the solution to the I have nothing to wear problem. Melanie wrote the book, Shop Your Closet. Instead of running out to the store to buy what you need, Melanie says most of us already own 40 to 50 percent of the clothes we'll need for the season. So it's just going back into your closet and finding out what you have, familiarizing yourself again with your closet. And with the average person spending $300 to $1,000 a year on new clothes, shopping your closet can save a bundle. How yeah. much can you save by shopping your closet? Anything from all of it to 75%, literally. I think it's, it's one of those things. I mean, you might have one season where you don't have to buy a thing. We're going to get the closet organized. So we sent Melanie to help revamp Tracy's wardrobe. Okay, and you love your beret. I do. And you love your scarves. The first step to shopping your closet is editing, getting rid of things you don't wear. I know you said you had some things that are doubles, some things yeah, that... Yeah, triples, quadruples, and then there's some stuff from like when disco was king. Once you've cleaned out, it's easier to see what you have. Your typical shop your closet move, finding a pair of boots yep. in the corner in the black dead space. So we've got this. Melanie was able to put together four new outfits for Tracy in just a few minutes. She really helped me kind of piece together everything in a completely different way than I had looked at it before. And I don't feel like I really need to run out and go buy a bunch of stuff now. And the key to shopping your closet is being organized. You need to know what's in there. So set up your closet like a store. Pants go with pants, shirts go with shirts, and color coordinate go from light to dark, Maggie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. To write to Susan, visit our website. It's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.